Hello ladies, a little different scenery today. I am in my car. Why? Actually, I am about to go to my office and I've been running errands all day and I'm waiting for a place to finish with a customer so I can go in. But meanwhile, actually, I was journaling this morning and came up with some really good uh, video concepts in order to help you rise to the top mentally. And this video is going to be about how to protect yourself against manipulative narcissistic people, how to bounce back from it, because there are a lot of narcissistic energy vampires living in this world today. And unfortunately, I think the stats are, there's like one out of six person is an, a narcissist. So probably most likely you've run into one or another at some point in your life. So, and they probably hurt you. So how do we bounce back from it? I actually made a list a note of notes that is on here so we can get to business okay so how to get back up when somebody brought down your confidence usually a manipulative narcissistic person so the first step is going to be realizing that it is just a stage thankfully it is not something that is permanent it's only something that is happening in this moment and it will pass so you just have to do these next steps in order to get you to that place where you feel like yourself once again. Step number two is practicing self-love. You really need to do this in this vulnerable stage that you are in because that's the only thing that's going to get you to the next phase. Because people who are energy vampires, people who want to pry on your failures, they want to take away your confidence. They want to make you feel unsuccessful. And if you've been affected by one of these people, most likely your confidence has been shot down. So the only way to get your confidence back is from within. And that is practicing self-love meaning choosing habits that are good for you, looking good, feeling good, eating healthy, getting sunlight, getting sleep, doing things that you might not want to do, but you know that they're going to help you. Sometimes when you are sad or going through something emotional, maybe this person is a loved one, a long-term relationship, a group of friends, it could be anybody right and they really make you feel down and you want to just lay in bed and be sad or watch tv but that's not going to get you anywhere it's okay to have some of those days but you really still need to pick yourself back up and do things that might be challenging step number three believe it or not this feeling is actually more mental than anything sometimes it transfers to affecting you physically, meaning you're not as motivated or you don't want to do certain things, but it all comes from your mental state. So again, to get that confidence back from within yourself, so you have self-validation, you need to change your mentality. That means journaling, setting your goals, writing down your goals, meditating, even maybe seeing a therapist or talking to somebody that you trust and that is a loved one because that is the only way you're going to get yourself back up mentally is if you take these little steps step by step by step to get yourself there it's not going to happen overnight but maybe a great therapist will be able to help you work through certain feelings or realize your self-worth or get your confidence back anything right journaling and writing down the goals that you know you deserve just puts a light bulb in your head that these things are possible for me and these are the things I should be working towards other than being sad and maybe like moping around for too long it's it seems hard but I promise you it's these tiny little steps that make the difference it's not a one one overnight procedure it's little things that will lead to a new you step number four is choosing days to glam up meaning yes beautiful makeup beautiful hair and a nice dress or your favorite outfit maybe even going to the salon and getting a blow dry or getting your nails done and 
the physical aspect of you really affects your mentality. Like some days it's really easy to just be at home all day and just chill in your most comfortable clothing. But also some other days you realize that, wow, I've been lounging around too much and now it's like I miss looking 100%. It's a lot of effort to look 100% every single day. However, I know there's times where I'm so busy with work, for example, that I don't feel like, I, or I simply don't have time to glam, glam up and get ready. So I just work um, from like my lounge wear at home. And after about a few days, it starts to get a little boring. You want to see yourself in that eyeliner and with, you know, just that blush and that lipstick, you miss yourself looking pretty. And that's just going to boost your confidence because makeup enhances your natural features. And of course it makes us feel good. Otherwise we wouldn't do it. So maybe for some of you, that means doing a full face of makeup and curling your hair. Maybe for others, it's just a tinted moisturizer and a lip gloss that really makes you feel. Whatever makes you feel like you are looking really good, do that even if it's a little thing like i said just putting on lip liner and maybe mascara if that makes you feel good then do it some days because it really spices things up when you look at yourself in the mirror you might want to stop and appreciate your beauty that you forgot hopefully you didn't forget that you had okay next step number five is a little bit of retail therapy now don't go crazy I talk a lot about finance on this channel and investing and I have a wealth program linked down below and so of course I don't recommend going and spending thousands of dollars or making into a habit that you shop every time you're sad but you know what there's just something about getting a dress or a new gym outfit or a new pair of heels that just makes you feel really good and just imagining where would I wear this to, right? Like if I'm shopping, it's more fun to imagine I would look so beautiful in this restaurant, in this dress, or on a date with these heels, or my next vacation I'm going to wear this dress to. That just makes you really, really excited. So you can purchase something, and I think that will make you feel good. Not all the time, like again, like I said, but a little retail therapy never hurt anybody, okay? And then the last step, steps number six, is choose projects to work on. This is so important because you need something that is stable and that you have control over in your life. And a project is perfect for that. For me personally, in the past, it's always been my school. I was a, a pre-med major, biology major. I got my bachelor's of science in biology and I knew that that no matter what happens in my life, I have a future, right? Like I earned this. I worked hard for this degree. I have a future. Then it became my business. I knew that no matter what, like no matter how evil any person could be or how sad I am because of a friend or a close person that has hurt me. Okay, whatever. I still have my business. I have my income. I can still do what I want. And that gives me so much power. And knowing that like you have the capability to build this from scratch or even just build upon it and work upon it and make it better. That is you who is doing that, not anybody else. And I think just taking your power back in that sense is amazing. So whatever that is for you, motorcycles, whatever that is for you, again, if it's business, if it's school, if it's um, even learning something like a new language or a new skill, doing an extracurricular activity, something that you can see your progress on is really going to help. So all of these steps combined, you will not have to deal with vampire energy sucking narcissists that manipulate you in your life. So that's that. I hope that this was helpful. Subscribe to my channel for more content on how to become a million dollar woman, not just mentally, but also physically and financially. And check out all my links down below. My name is Karina and I will see you in the next video. Bye.